today I have with me Jasmine. She is a six-year-old English Cocker Spaniel. Um, she's a little nervous. Her dad says she's timid around new people. Um, she has some common problems. She likes to pull on the leash. She doesn't like to listen to commands when she's excited. They have been working on her a little bit at home, so let's see what she knows. Jasmine, can you come? Oh, good girl. Jasmine, can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. No sit. Okay, what about down? Can we down? That's a sit. What about down? Can we down? No down. Okay. Let's go for a walk. Come on, let's go for a walk. We're walking. Oh, good girl. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, there it is. Going everywhere. Getting nervous. That's okay. She's not too bad. We can definitely work on it while she's here with us for those 15 days. So keep up with her progress as well as all the other pups we have right now on our social media.
Well, hi, my name is John and this is Jasmine right here. Uh, I found out about uh, Bulletproof Training through another person. I was walking my dog through the park and there was a Doberman Pinscher who was off lead and I was all apprehensive about what was going to happen. But that dog listened to everything that the two masters told him. There was a grandmother and a, and a daughter. And uh, the dog played and listened. And at uh, you know, the simple approach or the thought of the approach coming to our dogs, they just gave a command and then he returned right away. So I was so impressed by that that I had to ask. And they told me about this uh, bulletproof train. Um, I was intimidated by the cost. But uh, we'll find out. It seems to, like it's going to be worth it. Um, recently, I mean, I had two dogs, and they were both uh, scheduled to come to this class. And uh, we went on vacation, and uh, one of them unfortunately got away from the the, uh, the handler and got clipped by a car, and we had to put her down. So. Um, I would advise people to make sure that you get this sort of training done for your dogs as soon as possible to protect their lives, if nothing else.